What's up everybody, a spare with a gun here from Sleepless Night Studios, and we are back with a new season on Subnautica. Let me put this fire out real quick. Are we good? Everything good? Okay. Greetings, survivor. Great job not dying. Huh? To assist you in further survival in emergency situations, you have been issued this personal data assistant. The interface visible now will organize your inventory, display currently available construction blueprints, and holds other valuable information. Please take a moment to familiarize yourself with it. I love that first opening dialogue thing of just like, good job not dying. Alright, so basically we're starting a new season on Subnautica, obviously. Um... I say new wait, situation that's been T minus T since planet fall. Secure communications offline. Okay. We're gonna put this. I haven't played this in a minute, so if they've changed controls and things like that, I might be a little bit slow, so you have to bear with me on that. Um But yeah, so you'll notice we're starting over, not just a new season. Well, uh, basically, I'd been trying ever since they did a new update and everything to re-load uh, my existing game. Uh, no? Nothing? Okay. Um, the existing one from last season where we had a big base and all that kind of stuff, and every time I loaded it, even after the precursor update, which added a bunch of stuff, um, whatever just got into the files and said that you're just supposed to have a crappy frame rate, it was still there. So, no matter what I did, how small I made the base, blah, 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 it just never fixed those chunks to where they weren't so heavy in the performance area. And so my frames were still sitting somewhere around 10. Um, so, with the whole precursor update, new story, all that kind of stuff, I thought it was a best thing just to redo it and just start over. Um, I don't like doing that because we've started over this game so many times, but a lot of the new content is like you start a storyline and it kind of keeps moving from there. I opened that already. So, what we're going to do, we have water, we need food, but we have some nutrient bars in there. First thing we need to do is get a welder going. Attention, detecting increased local radiation levels. Trend is consistent with ongoing degradation of the Aurora's dark matter drive core due to damage sustained during collision. Continuing to monitor. Okay, so we need magnesium, crash fish powder, and titanium. The first two aren't that hard to get. Actually, magnesium you can make, I think, with three salt. Yeah, so that's not bad. The crash things, we're just going to get a little risky here. The aura suffered catastrophic hull failure causing cause unknown zero human life signs detected in a hundred meter range. Okay. So I'm still trying I'm gonna try and pay attention because um essentially the uh there may be new stuff. Uncharted ocean, oxygen, nitrogen, atmosphere, water contamination, high. So there might be new stuff in the storyline kind of thing, so I'm going to try and kind of pay attention a little bit more than I had in the past because we had kind of seen the new stuff. Oh, and they also changed this, it looks like, where you just float up at the top if you're holding the... or if you get up to the top and just stay there, you don't bounce anymore, which is awesome. I didn't realize how much that bothered me until they took it out, and then it was like, oh, that's great. So... Um, this first episode, I may not cut a lot, just because I don't know when they're going to pop up with little messages and tell me what's going on. I might. I might just cut some and record it and then just edit it out later is probably the best solution, so that's what I'm going to do. So we're going to go ahead and take a quick break. I'm going to try and get some stuff that I need to get established, as well as, um, maybe get what I need for a welder. Or, uh, yeah, a, a welder. Emergency. 10 seconds of oxygen remaining. So yeah, we're going to take a quick break and um, I'm going to get set up and in the meantime, if it comes up with messages and stuff, I will probably try and cut back when it comes up with things. Caution. Continued degradation of the Aurora's drive core may cause a quantum detonation. Calculating risk assessment. Death by malnourishment. 7%. By physical injury. 
by exposure to radioactive crash site materials, 19%. If the drive core is breached, probability of death increases to 65%. Oh, that's good to know. New creature discovered. Oh no, this is interesting. It's all greeny looking. Were they like that before? These don't look that way. Oh, wait, no, what did I do? Did I throw them out? No, I didn't throw them out. That's weird. They both say peeper, but one looks like contaminated. Okay, so this is new. Uh, looks like there's another crash. Oh, there's fins! Right there! There's fins! Um, let's drop something that's not going to swim away. A radiation helmet. Oh, I thought it was fins. That looked like fins. So that's kind of awesome. What else can I get out of this thing? Is there a way in? Can I get in? Kind of looks like the hatch might still be functional. I don't know. Hey, there's stuff in there. Oh wait, let's go through the giant hole. Maybe the giant hole in the wall is, is a good idea. And there's a PDA in there too. That's cool. That's new. Ooh, a rad suit! Well, how awesome is that? I don't have to make one. That's really cool. Can't get that fire extinguisher though. Crew members emergency recording T T plus twenty seven minutes. Huh, that's new, but totally awesome. All right, um, let's head back to. I think we're gonna head back to the pod and make a couple things as well as research a couple things. Oh wait, no, I need more salt. Hold on. Local radiation readings exhibit characteristics consistent with total degradation of the Aurora's dark matter drive core. A quantum detonation will occur with a probability of 85.5%. Advise observing a one kilometer safety range. Okay. However, it's not going right now, I guess. So there's that. Okay. So I think I have what I need. Uh, wait, no, I need to, there we go, make magnesium. I got the crash powder and everything. Uh, where'd it go? There you are, pair tool. Okay, so now, repair this guy, get this fixed. Alright, well integrity okay, secondary systems online, flotation devices deployed, environment uncharted ocean, planet, oxygen, nitrogen, atmosphere, waterborne bacteria levels high, attempting to scan emergency frequencies. And then we should be able to repair this now. Oh, okay. This is an automated bounce back from the Aurora mining vessel. Your distress signal has been received. An emergency relief team will be dispatched to your location. <laughs> the estimated arrival time, nine, 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 nine hours. <laughs> okay, that's great. Oh, okay, it just told me a new message has arrived. Playing message. This is Lafayette in LifePod 17. I survived impact, but there's something outside the hatch, and it's trying to get in. If anyone's still out there, my coordinates are attached. This message will now repeat. Ooh, interesting. Okay, so this is kind of a cool system they've added, too, is these little bubble things is kind of awesome. So when you get new recipes and things, uh, when you scroll down... Yeah, floating air pump. Floating device that pumps air into pipes acts as a starting point for a pipe chain. Oh, 
Base attached device that pumps air into pipes acts as a starting point for pipe chain. Okay, that's new. Hatching enzyme, mysterious enzymes. Ooh, so there might be some actually new blocks and things as well. I was thinking it was just a lot of story content update and things, but it looks like they may have actually added some stuff. Uh, but like this, you'll see a little seven, and then when you scroll down, you get, you know, the newer things. Now, I do like this, that you just look at it for a certain amount of time, as opposed to some games where you have to, like, actually click on it and things like that. But, like, in this stuff, when you scan and do things, it'll actually point you to what you're looking for. Altera Crew. I never should have let her leave with that red suit. Rad suit. Ah! By now she's either swum to dry land or drowned trying. Meanwhile, the air filters aren't keeping up with the hull breaches. Or hull breach. Emergency. Seismic readings suggest a quantum detonation has occurred in the Aurora's Oops. drive core. The central dark matter reactor will reach a supercritical state in T minus. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two. Yep, you know it's a new season of Subnautica when we have the uh, explosion explosion thingy. Okay, as I was saying, where was I? Meanwhile, the air filter, air filter levels aren't keeping up with the hull breach. Radiation levels in the pod are rising. I won't last much longer without meds. This would be the time to take the easy way out if all the options on the table weren't all, weren't equally horrific. Hatch opens. Aurora passenger, help me. Okay, this is crew, and this is Aurora passenger. Help me. What happens? Heh <laughs> heh. Was, that was my coughing. I tried to make it to the rendezvous, but <clears throat> I started feeling sick, barely made it back. This is important. Did the suit breach? Are you contaminated? No. I don't know what's wrong. Did you set the air filters, air levels right? Yes. Sound of scanner. Did you remember to do up the zipper? What zipper? Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Your radiation levels shouldn't be this high, ma'am. You've been exposed to- ma'am, ma'am, wake up. If you make it off this planet, please don't tell people I died because I couldn't dress myself. <laughs> Life signs flatlined. Your secret's safe with me. I don't expect to make it off the planet. <laughs> I love how I love the dark humor in this game. It's great. Like they're talking about people dying from radiation poisoning and stuff, which is not good. It's not a pleasant thing, but they do it in such a comical manner. I love it. It's like that. Did you do the zipper? What zipper? <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, and one other thing. When I caught the uh, crash fish thingies, there's a creature egg now. So I guess I have an egg for crashes. Why I'd want to make those or breed them, I have no idea. It seems like an awful idea. But, you know, it's there, so it can be done, apparently. Okay, and... Okay, so the fish do still make water. It's filtered instead of disinfected, so it's half the um, the amount. I wasn't sure, because at first it wasn't in the tab, but it it's basically like these whole, you know, add new recipe kind of thing. But I like that. That's a cool system. Alright, so we should have the signal to life pod 17. Now that, I don't know if that's the same one. 700 meters?! Uh, is that far? I don't know about all that. That seems far. I guess I could just swim on the surface. Eh, it's not going too bad, I guess. Okay, so I swam out as far as I can, but I think now the rest is down. Hi. Okay, so we have a wreck here, it looks like. I hope I can get down without, like, losing all of my air. I'm guessing- wait, no, we already recovered the... the hull breach one for that other one. Let's grab that. Ooh, we're in lower depth. Is there anything I can get? Eh! Oh no. I might- I'm gonna drown. I'm gonna drown. 
Uh, I'm gonna drown. Totally gonna drown. I don't even have flippers on yet, man. I'm gonna drown. Yep. We're gonna drown. Fading out. Maybe. Maybe. Oh! Oh, are you kidding me? Whoo, nothing like running right to the edge, huh? Wow! <laughs> okay, I really thought I was gonna die there. Um, that's crazy. So, now I did notice it says 99% health. I don't know if the new system is you black out and you'll start taking proceed like uh, incremental damage, or if like you're just supposed to take a certain amount of health and then you know it's just gonna drop and jump. But I don't know. I don't know if it's like a you're drowning, so you're kind of blacking out, and you have like a, a buffer time before it's gonna end up like killing you or something. I don't know. Anyways, we're gonna cut back. I'm gonna swim back to the life pod and hope I can get there sometime today. Okay, so we're back at our little life pod. Um, so let's go through. Voice slash short range scan suggests this grassy biome supports six. Oh, okay, that was just something it said. So, anonymous crew log. Life pod made planet fall intact approximately one hour ago. Environmental instruments were knocked offline. With my face pressed to the glass, I can make sh make out shadows shifting about in the water below me. Every so often the pod is rocked by some kind of collision. I cannot tell whether the pod is bumping up against the rocks or if some if there is something out there that's trying to get in. Either way, the hull is being beginning to buckle. I can see what's left of the aurora from the top hatch. We were carrying anything and everything we might need to complete the phase gate, all-terrain vehicles, thermal reactors, propulsion cannons. I'm going to go out there and scavenge whatever I can whatever I can find, see if I can reinforce the life pod hull. I'm guessing he didn't make it back. Though this says T plus one hour. So I'm guessing that was an hour ago? Like time, like current time plus whatever. So this was like 27 minutes ago. This was an hour ago. Oh yeah, because the log is the Lafayette. This is Lafayette and life pod, or this is Lafayette and life pod 17. Uh, if anyone's still out there, my coordinates are attached to the message when I repeat and it's trying to get... Okay, so that was him, but that says day three. Has it been three days? Have I been on this planet three days already? That seems unlikely. Sorry, had a coughing fit. Alright, so we don't have any new messages yet. So I guess we're just going to have to get started on kind of working on some stuff and maybe getting a base going. I don't know. Uh, I probably should get some flippers, stuff like that. I don't really know what else I should be working Like, I don't know where the next step is without them kind of pointing me on where the sequence is supposed to go. Um, so I'm not really sure what to do next other than the basic Subnautica gameplay kind of thing of just, you know, building a base and stuff like that, but um, I need to get a scanner going too so that I can scan some of these fragments. Like, I've got a couple of fragments of, like, the sea moth and stuff right around me. Not too far. Um, I don't know... Wow, I had a lot of titanium. I didn't realize I had that much. Holy crap! I got titanium. Sorry, couldn't resist. All right, that's I need rubber. What's the scanner? Battery. Ooh, battery I could probably make. Cause a battery is copper ore and an acid and two acid mushrooms. I have copper. Yeah, we can get a scanner going. Okay, so I just came back from. Uh, a little excursion and got some quartz and stuff so we should have enough to make a scanner which is kind of a very important tool all right oh is that supposed to be that color or is it just because it's nighttime I think that's a glitch I bet you it's nighttime lighting but it's holding inside that's weird there we go. That was a little bug. Um, okay. So let's put this at 
five. I like this on the back of my hotbar because in a pinch I don't really need the scanner all that much. So, what I want to do though is right around here... Okay, maybe not right around here. It wasn't life pod 17. It's over there. There it is. So this other life pod that landed like right next to us, I know there's a Seamoth fragment here. I don't know how many fragments I need anymore. I haven't played this in a while and they might have changed some stuff. I wonder if I can also scan... Oh my gosh, that's a PDA too! You dummy. I thought it was a lamp. I legitimately thought that was a lamp. <sighs> Sometimes. My brain. Anything I can scan in here? Well, I was thinking I could scan the lamp that was not a lamp. <laughs> Leave me alone. Um, okay, where was that Seamoth fragment? I thought it was right there. Maybe it was in this debris over here. I know there's one over on Life Pod 17, but I really just don't feel like swimming that far. Why do I need to scan that again? Probably should scan everything at this point, but meh. There's some of it, like, you know, I wouldn't mind scanning if I knew that this was just going to be the end of the production cycle, but knowing they're just going to keep updating things and stuff, it's kind of like, what's the point of scanning some of the things like fish? Because I already know what they do, and, you know, eventually they'll probably change it or something anyway. Oh, I can scan the chair. We can make chairs. I'm waiting for the day when we can replicate these, like cargo containers. I know you have lockers and things, but why can't we make cargo containers just for storage? There's, like, the little floaty ones, but that's not really what I mean. I wonder if I can cut into that, too. That doesn't... I'm not sure if that's one of those... Um, frag not fragments. Uh, one of the wrecks or not? Emergency. Oh wait, is that a door? Hold on. Remaining. Might not need to weld anything. That might have been a door. That is a door. That's a functioning door. Well, we either got really lucky, or they've changed the new spawning area and stuff. Search and rescue Paul something. I didn't get that. Ooh, mobile vehicle fragment. Or vehicle bay. So that's one of three at this point. Okay. That will need to... Oh! Repair tool. Oh! Well, this has changed. This is, like, significantly more different because... Um... I don't think I've ever seen that one before where you had to repair something, not just cut the door open. They might have done that for beginning wrecks and stuff so that you can get to him a little easier. Where did that go? Oh, there it is. Alright, so let's read through our logs. We have a desk now, we have a chair. Handheld spectro... yeah, I don't care. Okay, uh, crew members emergency plus four minutes. Okay, so maybe it's touchdown plus four? Like this was an hour after touchdown or something? Because this seems to have happened after this one. So, but that's plus four and plus... So it must have been touchdown. Ma'am, I need you to stay calm. We're not in immediate danger. Where are the rescue teams? The ship didn't make it. So where are the rescue teams? They're dead, ma'am. We have the rendezvous coordinates, but the route there is heavily irradiated from the crash site, and we only have one rad suit. So what are you going to do? Uh, if I take the suit, perhaps I can find a lead source in the area, come back and fabricate a second suit for you, and then we swim to the rendezvous point. How do I know you'll not just save yourself? Give me, a, give me the suit. I'll go. Do you know how to properly equip? I said, la I'll go. Okay, so, <laughs> so she forgot to zip it up and died. Analysis confirms this wreckage is from the Aurora. Uh, outer layer materials. It's been heated to over. Yeah, okay. So that's that's uh, wrecked titanium or whatever. Altera search and rescue mission. Auxiliary search and rescue Paul Torgal. Position CEO of Torgal Core. Captain of the Degasi. Lost in space, area Don arm. Age of age at the time of disappearance, 79? Dude, if you're almost 80 years old, what the heck are you doing out in space? Go chill, go retire or something. 
Paul Torgal and his crew fell out of contact with Mongolian authorities close to a decade ago. The Torgals were a resourceful and powerful clan, and the ship was well-equipped, so their survival is considered likely. However, multiple vessels passing through the system have since attempted to trace the ship to no effect. It's hoped that the Aurora's superior scanning suite can, be, can do better. So we were out here looking for the Torgals, I guess. Maybe. One of the missions. Made major, made majority shareholder in Torgal Corps by his mother upon her retirement. Interaction with Altera limited to infrequent chatter... Chartered. Chartered communication... No, chartered munitions deliveries. Okay. Beneficiary of life extension technologies. Ah! That's why he's 79 and still out in space. Accompanied by his only child, Bart Torgal, 19, heir to the Torgal Corporation. So the CEO and the only heir went out... On a mission. That seems smart. Emissary Kassar reports Torgal frequently traveled with fewer than the recommended skeleton crew. Inadequate systems maintenance may account for the ship's disappearance. So basically, he was cheap and took his air with him. And no one's ever heard from them since. Good job. You get a gold star. Um, yeah, but Bart's gonna come back after seven years. Oh wait, it's been a decade, so yeah, he should be coming back anytime soon and have super bow skills and be and be the Green Arrow, right? That's how that that's how that goes. <laughs> okay, so we repaired the door. Oh, well, that is new. That is very new. But there's nothing in here, so why did I repair it? Hmm, fishy. Oh wow, I'm losing. I'm losing oxygen. Emergency. Ten seconds. I'm not even that of deep down here. Remain. What the heck? Well, I guess I was seeing that sea moth fragment, or I found it somewhere else and just forgot where it was. Because I know I've seen a fragment for a sea moth, and I know there's one over at Life Pod 17, but I really thought there was one somewhere else closer. It looked like a different part of the sea moth, like the butt, and the one over it. Life Pod 17 looked like the uh, the top, like the antenna kind of thing. So we'll probably wrap things up here for this episode, but I do kind of want to poke around a little bit and see if I can find that fragment. Okay, I can't find it. Um, it must have been over with the 17, and I must just be... I really thought I saw it too. Um... I don't know. I don't know. If I did, I forgot about it, and if you see it, you know, feel free to comment and, you know, with a timestamp or something. However, one thing I did find was another mobile vehicle fragment, or mobile vehicle bay fragment, so that's good, uh, because that will let us actually make the, um, ooh, you know what? I just realized we're so close to a thermal jet, or I think that's what they're called. Um, we could build a base here and then eventually do thermal power down there. That would be a smart idea. So anyways, I think we're going to wrap things up here for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace.